what's up you guys back at it again with another video this time we're actually gonna be doing somewhat of a budget timing cover install uh, and I say budget because you know usually your OEM covers are very expensive this might be another option for you guys if you guys are in the market for a timing cover if you guys can't find one I know uh, there's a lot of you know sites that have discontinued these particular parts some parts and the timing covers just happen to be one of them they're kind of difficult to find you can find them but there are they are a little expensive um, so yeah I'm gonna be showing you guys another option if you guys can find this one as well because it is a little difficult to find just as a secondary option um, so yeah let me go ahead and uh, show you guys what we're dealing with or at least what we ordered and um, let's have at it All right, so like I said, this kind of, this is kind of a budget timing cover, if you will. It looks very identical to the OEM. In fact, this actually came from uh, one of the manufacturers. This will actually work on the six bolt. Um, if you're interested on what the part numbers are, if you want to order these things, here's one of them. This is actually going to be for the top timing cover, okay? And then if you need the part number for the very bottom one here, um, this is it right here. I'll put it down in the description below, but just so you guys have a general idea of what it looks like. It doesn't look exactly like the silver finish that you get from Mitsubishi, but I mean, you can paint it. If you like, you can paint, you can paint these covers um, and you know, just have it match or paint it to your liking. Um, or you could paint it silver back uh, like the Mitsubishi. Uh, ones have anyways, we're gonna mock this up on a six bolt motor with the 2g DSM bracket and For those of you that don't know this general area has to be cut Obviously we have we do have to remove this uh, grommet this little gasket uh, that seals up the motor. Yes, I know it sucks Yeah, so in order for us to install this on a six bolt block for a 2G motor, we do have to cut this off. We do have to trim this general area and we do have to get, we have to remove uh, part of this gasket as well um, in order for it to clear the motor mount bracket. That's just the way it is. Um, it's not a big, you know, it's not a big issue in my eyes because I've done it a few times. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys uh, what section we need to trim and how it looks before and after. Obviously, I'm gonna show you guys the before and then once we're done trimming it, I'll show you guys the after. All right, so I'll be back. All right, so just so you guys know, I did remove the studs. There's two studs, one on this side and one on the other. These particular studs uh, will have to be removed in order for you to in, at least attempt to install the timing cover on a, you know, for a, for a 2G, a seven volt DSM motor mount bracket, okay, in order for it to clear. So yeah, I ended up removing that, just FYI for you guys, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys a before and after. Right now, obviously it's not trimmed. We do have to remove this gasket material around here in order for it to even uh, try to clear, okay? So I'll be back. All right, so we're back after trimming it and this is pretty much what you want. Um, we ended up cutting it little by little just to get that the smallest cut as possible so it can look the neatest as possible uh, one thing to be aware about on this particular budget timing cover if you will um, there's some little sleeves here and here and for this particular reason I don't know why they didn't come come in here you know with with the kit but honestly it's not a deal breaker considering the price um, that you can get these for um, and like and these will work for a six bolt block so I mean you know give or take uh, another thing to be aware about is I'm pretty sure these things have been you know collect uh, stored somewhere where they collect a lot of heat 
and uh, this one happened to be a little bit deformed but nothing a little you know heat gun you know can't can't uh, you know fix as well as this there's some areas that might be you know the plastic might be a little uh, bent in some particular areas but nevertheless you know um, just with a little heat you should be able to get it back to its original position I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys um, how it looks once I you know mock it up to the motor okay so let's go ahead and do that all right so here we are and that's pretty much it you know like I said there's some areas that I have to work around to heat them up and you know stretch them out or whatever but you can tell all the bolt holes line up um, after cutting it all the bolt holes line up and even the type timing cover will line up as well so yeah this is another option for you guys that are looking into getting a timing cover for some reason you don't want to pay a hundred over a hundred bucks or 150 for the timing cover this is another option um, if you guys can find them as well okay all right so here's the budget timing cover installed uh, with a few bolts around the actual lower cover the top cover is going to need some work and i say that because the top cover is a little bit bowed at the top so it's not going in uh, because it's so bowed it, i'm telling you guys it's probably been sitting in a warehouse for many years with a lot of heat or something uh, but you know nothing a little heat gun can't solve so anyways the the main goal was actually to install the lower timing cover and we got it on but if you guys are in the market for a timing cover and you guys don't want to spend or at least you know pay for oem oem timing covers because there are a little bit on the high side um this could be another option for you guys if you guys don't mind this grayish finish okay anyways so i'll leave like i said i'll leave links if i can if not maybe the part numbers to these two covers they're actually made from hyundai okay these are made from hyundai and then and, and just like you've seen they work on the six bolt they'll work on a six bolt motor so yeah i'll leave some links down below if not i'll leave the part numbers to these timing covers and hopefully you guys can find what you need this one was modified for a 2g dsm you don't necessarily need to cut this portion um, if you're installing this timing cover on a 1g all right so that pretty much concludes today's video i hope you guys found it somewhat informative and i really hope you guys are able to find these timing covers as the years go by they're harder and harder to find uh, not just timing covers dsm parts in general but yeah if the video was somewhat helpful um, let me know down below please drop a like subscribe if you haven't already and uh yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one